one of my first patients ever couldn't live in the same house that he had had his cardiac arrest in because he couldn't go into his lounge with his wife. And so they were living in a caravan short term. Every now and again, you get that and you think, wow, th this really is a big deal with a huge amount of trauma and challenges to quality of life. And we've got to do much better. There was no support for me and no support for many other people who didn't have a, a heart issue per se. I was given a leaflet and told not to go deep sea diving or near magnets and that was my sort of cardiac rehab and a friend found a Facebook group for me through you know a search and found Sudden Cardiac Arrest UK and my world literally changed then and I suddenly found other people who were like-minded and also I felt very alone and frightened. Groups such as Sudden Cardiac Arrest UK, they're supporting one another. These guys are now experts and so actually the next unfortunate um, uh, cardiac arrest patient comes along, they'll get a lot of support from their fellow cardiac arrest survivors. We need to now look at beyond that initial hospital. That's actually a small part of it, that hospitalisation. It's the next steps after that and going on with your life. The fact that we've got so many people in one place coming from all over the UK is a real statement of unmet need more than anything else. There is a real benefit to human beings of being in and amongst other people, seeing how other people cope, seeing how other people exploring the similarities or differences of what you feel and they feel, and there's sort of a bonding of people. So about 75% will never ever have met another survivor. So 75% of this group will go home having now met one. That's, that's a pretty amazing experience for these for these patients and we know that from previous events. The biggest thing we want people to take away from today is that they don't feel alone and they have some closure, if anything, to today, that they have support, they know where to turn to people, that there is life after cardiac arrest. This organisation provides something else. It, it's almost like the humanity element, the human element. So that's that's the strength, the uniqueness, I think. It opens your eyes to what life can be and it's not necessarily the end. Some people don't have a great quality of life when they leave the hospital, but when they interact in our groups and our events, they realise they can do more than they're doing at the moment. What I really enjoy is just hearing other people's stories. So I think it's fascinating when people are telling you their stories and you, you've got so much to relate um, to their story about, but it's still different. I think that's the um, that's the, the big takeaway for me. I love I love hearing that. There is a way forward. There is a future. There is uh, this group, Sudden Cardiac Arrest UK. They are a fantastic support network. There is a life beyond that, and you're not alone. There's always always hope. Self belief. Never never accept what you think the future is going to be. You can. We all think we know what our limits are, but actually those limits can be redefined. It's a real roller coaster journey, but I think what we put in place will help you on that journey. Life goes on. Um, it won't necessarily be the same, but it does go on. What has been developed here in the UK over the last 10 years is staggering, really, with you know institutions such as Sudden Cardiac Arrest providing that support for the patients of the future. It's invaluable. Mm -hmm.